I need your help, Jug. What's up? Can you... Will you read my mind? This sounds like a trap. Not my conscious mind, my subconscious mind. I need you to go deep into memories that I may have repressed. First off, I don't even know if this is something I'm capable of. No, oh, I know. I know. A lot of TBK stuff resurfaced for me during the fog. And then Percival's damn library books brought up things from my past about my dad. And I just feel like an open wound, a reopened wound. And I'm trying to stitch myself back together. But I need the missing pieces, the things that my memory is suppressing. And I can't get to them on my own. So please, Jug. OK. Yeah, OK. I'll do some research on deep mind reading. So I did a deep dive on memory reading. Now, meditation, hypnotherapy, guided visualization, they all circle the same ideas, right? I think we can apply these principles to my gift or power. OK, great. What do I do? You're going to need to think of your memories as something visual. I recommend a, um, a series of comic books. Then your mind will organize these free-floating memories into a collection. And your subconscious mind will do the same with your repressed memories, which I can then access or read. OK. Deep breaths. Relax. Establish physical contact. Let's go digging. Off duty. Holy crap. You haven't gone full yellow wallpaper on me yet, have you? They're crazy. My parents are crazy. And now all I can think is maybe I'm crazy like they are. Hey. <sighs> we're not our parents, Betty. Also. What? Finding anything? I just. Surface stuff. Let me keep on digging. Chuck, you think evil can be passed on? What if it's my destiny, my birthright, something I'll never be able to control or understand? Hey, look at me. I know you. You're a good person, Betty. You might have some darkness, but you're not evil. Still just shared memories? Yeah, so far. I think you're gonna need to go even deeper, Jug. <laughs> 